Now we're ready to draw the interior walls. To remind myself how the house looks, I'm going to go back and look at our example. I want to locate the centers of these interior walls, so I'll use the exterior wall lines to locate the position of the interior walls. So let's go back to my house. And I want to take full advantage of the offset command. So I'll initiate the offset command. I want to offset a distance 12 foot 8 inches. If I type in 12 feet 8, press enter. And I will select this exterior wall line and offset it to this side. Press enter to end the command and then press enter again to start the command again. This time I want to set offset this line 4 foot 10 inches. Press enter. And that gives me an alignment for another wall. Press enter. Next, I want to locate the wall that goes over here and encloses one of the rooms here. So I'm going to offset 16 feet 10 inches. Press enter. I'm going to offset this line to this side. To form another wall, I'm going to offset this line 12 foot 9 inches as well, and press enter. Now I have one more wall. Let's take a look. I have this wall here that is enclosing an area that looks like it might be a bathroom. So how am I getting that? Well, I have the dimension from this corner to the center of the wall as 7 foot 5 inches. Let's see how we can handle that. So I'm going to reduce this down, go back to my house, I will offset 7 foot 5 inches, press enter, and we'll offset this line in that direction, press enter. Now, I can draw a line, so I'll draw a line, and what I would do, like to do is start from the end point of this line. I can hold the shift button, right click the mouse, release the shift button. This brings up a snapping object snap menu. I want the end point of that line, and I want to extend it just over here to this line. But I want that to be perpendicular. So shift, right click to bring up the uh, object snap window, select perpendicular, and now when I get to this line it finds a perpendicular point, and I'll click it center to end that command. Now I do not need this line, so I can erase it. I can either use the erase command in AutoCAD, or I can select the line and press the delete button on the keyboard. I'll use the erase command. So erase, select the object, press enter, and erase that. Now, looking again at the house, I have a wall that goes across here that appears to separate a garage from the main house. So the distance from this corner to the center of the wall is 5 foot 7 inches. I'm going to use the same type of command. So let's reduce that, go back to my house. So I will offset 5 foot 7, press enter, I will offset this line that direction, press enter. Another option that I can do is 
move this line or across into position. Let me use the move command. So, click move the object. I want to move this object. Press enter. It's asking me for the base point. What I can do is shift right click and select endpoint. So I want to snap to that endpoint and I want to move this to the endpoint here. Shift right click endpoint there. Now I have a general construction lines of how the interior walls are laid out. 